In this video, I'm going to show student view of assignments and what the teacher view would look like as students turn in work. This is for Google Classroom. So I am showing you right now a teacher view of my Google Classroom. I have created some assignments and I have them in here. You can see I can have the due dates set. Um, just a tip, if you are having students doing distance learning, I would be really consistent with your due dates, maybe making everything always due by midnight, and maybe only once or twice a week. Uh, maybe make everything always due on Friday, or maybe there's a checkpoint midweek or something like that. But I think coming up with a consistent way to have due dates would be very helpful for students. Um, okay, so I have some assignments in here. What I want to show you is how this looks on the student side. So when students um, go to their classwork page, so this is um, Pete the Pirate's classwork page, um, the student can see these assignments and they can click on them and do them. So for the slope assignment, if I open that up, I can actually see that my teachers provided me a template and it says that all instructions are in this document attached. So I can go ahead and just click that right here. I can also click on view assignment to see that assignment in more detail. Um, when I click it in that way, I can add private comments and ask my teacher questions without other people seeing. If I put in my class comments here, I can add comments or questions the entire class might see. Um, if I click on this template here, I can open it up. I can also add or create other things. So I just want to show you that students, if they click add or create, they can add something that's already in their Google Drive. They can add a link to something. They can upload a file from their computer. And then they can also, in the moment, ad hoc, create a new doc from Google Docs, a new presentation from Google Slides, a new spreadsheet from Google Sheets, or they could create a drawing which would allow them to create some type of poster, or they could even technically use their trackpad to write on the drawing. So those are all ways students can turn things in. This particular assignment, the teachers provided a template. So that's why this document is here and it already has the student's name in it. If I click on that template, then um, I can see that I've got this document here and I can type into it. So I've got this teacher has put all of my learning resources at the top of this document. So I can click the watch that video or click to go to that website, but I can also um, type in here. Now, just a tip, if you are creating a template for teachers, whenever the student has their own copy of the document, they are the editor. So a student could delete these things and then be like, oh no, I don't have my links anymore. Oops. So it might not be a bad idea for the teacher to also provide those links or resources in the actual assignment in Google Classroom as well. Um, but I think it's nice because now as a student, I don't have to toggle back and forth between the two things. I can just see the links and click them right in my document. I also can see that this is where I can do my work. I can type right into this document um, as well. Um, when I am done with this, so I'm just going to say, put some things in here. When I'm done, I can click turn in and turn that document in right from the screen. Um, additionally, if I close this tab, I still have the option to turn in the assignment. Now, if I turn it in, I can't, I'm, I can't do anything more with it unless the teacher returns it. Um, but if I did for this assignment also have additional things I needed to upload, maybe I had to create a video and I needed to add that, then I would just click add and I would upload it for my computer. Uh, so those are definitely ways students can do this assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and click turn in and my assignment is done. I'm going to switch back to, and notice the student can unsubmit if they want to. When something is turned in, the student loses edit access to that document until it is either unsubmitted or the teacher returns it. If I switch to the teacher view, this is back to the teacher side again, and I go to that slope assignment, I can see that one student has turned it in, and I can click that and go directly to the turned in work. And I can actually open this up and look at it. I can grade it, I can give it feedback, I can comment on something. If I didn't maybe think the student followed directions or needed to do something more, I could actually leave them a comment. And it could be, say maybe, hey, rethink this answer, and then I could return it to the student and let them redo it, which I think is nice. Um, the other thing, you can go ahead and just grade this here if you wanted. 
I can leave the student private comments and post those. So when I'm done, I can just return it to the student and it will do that. I can also um, switch to the next student if I had another student in this class by just clicking on the arrow and going to another student this way. So there are lots of options there. So if I return this to the student, then that student will receive a grade and they can check the grade or they could redo it and make an, another submission if you were going to have the student edit their work. So that is what the teacher grading side looks like and it will tell me that they're graded. You can also sort by student last name, student first name, or status. So you could sort and just see all of the ones that are unsubmitted, all, all the ones that are submitted, or all of the that are graded. If I click this little folder icon, it'll actually go to the folder in my Google Drive that shows all the student work. Another thing I would like to show you is another type of assignment um, that is in here for the student. If I click on classwork, and I go into, this is a question, this is what a multiple choice question would look like. You can only add one question as the teacher, but the student could just answer this question. Um, it's, it acts like a poll, so it's not really a quiz, it's not going to tell the student if they're right or wrong, but it could give you, the teacher, some feedback whether or not that student understood it. Um, so um, notice though, the student really should have to click view the question to see the entire question here. Um, Turn in, it'll be done. So you could have a question like that as a check-in every week. Um, the student could also come out to a question that's a short answer. And it says explain all the ways you can find the slope of a line. And this is where the student would type in their answer here and then they could turn that in. So this is an example of a short answer question. Um, if I'm the student and I click on view your work. It'll show me everything that I've turned in. I can see that I've got these things are assigned, this is turned in, and these have been graded. And then I can click and go right to that. I can also see this assignment has a comment on it. And if I wanted to view the details of that, I can, and I can reply back to my teacher. I can even ask a question there. So that's kind of the way the assignments work from the student view and the teacher view.